Abundance Through Green Living, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 322. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our weekly progress update number 322, May 26, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to render the people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build self replicating and sustainable teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today, what I want to talk about is abundance through green living. Because if we're building sustainability hubs, and teacher demonstration hubs to create a globally sustainable civilization. Uh, if that civilization isn't abundant and the things that make people happy, then I think we've missed our goal. And so our goal is to provide abundance and not just abundance in a financial standpoint. We want to create financial security and freedom for people, which is definitely built on green living, but we also want emotional abundance for people as well. And so we talk about this every week. We're creating an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, and these could be arguably defined as the foundations of financial abundance, which are food, energy, and housing. We create sustainable food, energy, and housing so people can eliminate their housing bills, so people can eliminate their energy bills, and so people can eliminate their food bills or radically reduce their food bills and by growing healthier food in a healthier environment, also their medical bills. But we also take those and we combine them with the foundations of emotional sustainability, which we've identified as fulfilled living practices, uh, highest good education models, highest good economic models, and true stewardship. Putting these things together to create complete abundance through green living. And so built on a foundation of sustainability so that we can reduce the cost of people's overhead and expanding that sustainability model to include the fulfilled living practices, the social architecture, the growth, those aspects of it all put together to create total abundance. And so this is what One Community is doing. Everything that you see happening in the background of this video is the infrastructure to support that. And what we're creating is the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to replicate all of that plus everything else I just described. And so when we think of abundance, we think of like, well, what happiness, like holistic approach to living that includes all aspects of happiness. And so with that, that's why we've designed the social architecture model, the education model, all these things to bring everything essentially in-house and to invite the world to participate and check out what it is that we're doing so that people that agree with what it is that we're creating or even some part of what it is that we're creating can take that and replicate it or modify it, adapt it, and make it even better for themselves, their families, their friends, their local community. And if they're in partnership with us and building teacher demonstration hubs, as an open source pathway to global sustainability, then they're also creating it for their global community. And so this is what one community is doing. We see abundance through green living as really the easiest path to abundance because through the green and sustainable, sustainable infrastructure uh, approach, we can eliminate all those foundational expenses and by creating complete sustainable communities, we can eliminate a lot of the peripheral expenses as well. A lot of people spend a lot of money on private education. We could create a better education model and have created a better education model that people would be able to walk their kids to school, where people could be very hands-on with their kids if they want to be. And we will offer that to the public as well, allowing people to come in from the outside for private education to pay to be able to have their kids schooled at one community also. A lot of people spend a lot of money on recreation. They travel huge distances or they're constantly going to their yoga classes or their exercise classes or their book reading classes or their painting classes. We can bring all of that in-house as well and we can open our doors to allow the public and invite the public to participate in that as well. And so the one community model is meant to provide everything that people need. Abundance through green living that covers all aspects of the living experience in a green and sustainable way that is also replicable. And so we're open sourcing and free sharing the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for every single component so it can be replicated either as the complete teacher demonstration model or as individual components in whatever way people like. 
And then we're opening our doors so that people can come and visit and experience one community and get hands-on experience with everything that we're creating. The education program, the social architecture, the fulfilled living practices, the classes, but also the building methods, the methodologies, the sustainable housing, staying in a cob house, staying in an earth bag house, staying in a shipping container home, so that they can experience what it feels like, so that people can experience what it feels like to live in those homes, to live within the environment. And our goal is to demonstrate this whole model as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough when people come and visit it that people say, darn, I want to live that way. And so we've done the best that we could to create what we believe is the most amazing living experience we can, built on green and sustainable practices, designed to meet all of the needs, the six foundational human needs, as well as financial needs, and all other needs of everybody that lives there, inviting people to participate and come check it out. That's what we're doing. This is Abundance Through Green Living, one community style. And it doesn't mean that we figured out the best way. It just means that we have tried to the best of our ability to make every decision with the highest good of all life on this planet in mind and to keep evolving and developing everything that we're doing and open sourcing and free sharing it so if people come up with better ideas and better ways to do it, then they can apply those and take what it is that we've created, apply those, evolve it, and make it even better. And so at this point, we're almost 400 volunteers that have contributed to this project. I'm a volunteer. Every member of the team is a volunteer. We're 100% non-paid team. We're a non-profit organization, a non-governmental organization creating this because we want to live this way, because we want to share living this way, and because we see a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. We see that as possible, and we're working to create that. And that's our idea. Not abundance through green living just for us, but abundance through green living for everybody creating a sustainable world that will meet the needs of this generation and generations to come with a model that is open source, free shared, and for the highest good of all life on this planet because we think it's the right thing to do. And it's possible. And so why the heck not? So that's what our team is doing. This is what we're up to. And with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of creating abundance through green living for ourselves and for everyone else as well. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, created the complete work breakdown structure for the Earthbag Village and began creating the same structure for the Duplical City Center. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, finished week 160 working on the Earthbake Village. This week, he modeled the table and corner bench details. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 45th week helping with Earthbake Village renders. This week, he finished work on the people, plant, and texture updates to this final view of the Earthbake Village looking south. This image is now on the Tropical Atrium Open Source Hub too. Shawnee Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 52nd week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week's focus was cross-checking and updating the parts details and more revisions to the storage and changing area, some of which you can see here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, added the Duplical City Center sprinkler system pipe specifications and quantities, pipe prices, and images and source URLs to the Duplical City Center cost spreadsheet. Tanya Griffin, Aubrianne Boyle, and Ali Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Design Pros, completed their 22nd week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. This week's focus was paint, flooring, and more furniture and art plans for the cupola, and additional art plans and dirt catching floors for the social dome. Hu Chiao Zhang, architectural designer and drafter, also joined the team and completed his first week helping finalize the city center AutoCAD and SketchUp files. This week, he added an additional window to the social dome and relocated all the other windows for that dome and the dining dome in both AutoCAD and SketchUp and revised and added details to AutoCAD section A and B. You can see some of this work here. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with week three working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum certification and City Center open source HVAC design tutorial. 
This week, he finished modeling all the windows and doors and the first energy use analysis tests. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, additionally continued with her 13th week helping with the Duplical City Center structural details. This week's focus was adding the new window and making individual lines in AutoCAD on top of non-working polylines so as to import them successfully into SAP. You can see some of this work here. And Zeyu Zhu, mechanical engineer, also completed his second week increasing the capacity and finalizing the rainwater catchment designs for the city center. This week, he estimated reservoir size needed for the three consecutive rainiest months and searched for suitable tanks for underground water storage. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan. We continued research for goats, which included a review of the video Raising Kiko Goats at Lookout Point Ranch, adding more info from the Guildbrook Farm video, and incorporating all the new information into our behind the scenes Google Doc for this topic. The core team also completed the rest of the free permaculture course being offered by Oregon State University, outlined the details we'll be using to develop the open source permaculture design page, and started creating a complete mind map for the permaculture process. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly theme lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued working on the structural redesign of the Ultimate Classroom. This week, we finished updates to the exterior walls around the bathrooms, extended the length of the classroom separating walls, placed two different types of folding movable walls, moved the bathroom windows, and created an initial roof design. You can see some of this work in progress here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 30th week as part of the marketing team. This week's focus was finishing the open source city center lighting design research and working on the keyword research for the human needs landing page. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for abundance through green living. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog, you can visit our website. If you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. Uh, if you'd like the easiest way to help out, you can help out through joining us on social media or sharing our information on social media or just subscribing to our YouTube channel. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, Tumblr, Tumblr, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access and share our information. Help us out if you like by doing that. Uh, and thanks. Thanks for watching to the end. Oh, one more thing. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We don't do any automated emails, anything like that. We actually physically send out our emails. So uh, send us an email. We'll add you to our newsletters list. And if you ever want to be removed, just send us another email, and we will physically take you off of it. So this is what we're all about. You're invited to participate. You're already participating by watching to the end. We thank you for that. If you've donated to our project, thank you. We're a 100% volunteer organization. I'm not paid for what I'm doing, and neither is anybody else on our team. We're all doing this because we see what is possible. We want a green, sustainable 
civilization for the benefit of everybody. And so that's what we're creating. So thanks for watching till the end. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.